Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another Procreate tutorial, so yeah. If you are wondering, I'm using the 12.9 inch iPad Pro and Apple Pencil. I pre-made a color palette that you can use so that you can just like sit back and enjoy this tutorial and you don't have to think too much about colors, or you can use your own color palette, it's up to you, but you can download this in the description below for free. I'm just using the default square canvas on Procreate. Once you've created your canvas, just go to the top left on that spanner icon, press canvas, turn on drawing guide, press edit drawing guide, and then on the bottom right, click symmetry, and then press done. We're just using three brushes that you already have, so the dry ink brush, which you'll find under inking, as well as the technical pen brush, which you'll also find under inking, and then lastly, the soft brush, which you'll find under airbrush, and that's it. We're just going to use the color black as well as the dry ink brush to sketch out an outline of the moth. So I'm just doing a circular head here and then a pointy kind of body as well as the wings. This part can be pretty tricky so if you want you can look at a reference photo, it's up to you. But yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. Once you have your rough sketch done, we're just going to go up to that second button on the top left, click opacity, and slide that down to about 20%. So this is just like a rough sketch layer, we're going to outline this again. Go ahead and start a new layer on your layers panel, and just press on that layer, and then select drawing assist, and that'll just put that symmetry drawing guide back on for you. I'm just going into my brush options and turning on my streamline. You can leave this off, you don't have to put it on the maximum. What this does is it just helps do smoother strokes, so if you're like me and you have an unsteady hand, it helps a lot. So I'm just going in and outlining the sketch that we did before with just a cleaner outline. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can go ahead and just delete that sketch layer and then We'll go back into the outline layer and we will just add some details. So you can do this however you want. You can do what I'm doing or you can change your patterns. I'm just drawing in some patterns here. If you draw a rough circle and hold down your other finger, it'll make a perfect circle. So I'm doing one of those inside the other and then erasing this stuff on the right to make a crescent moon. Cool, once that's done, we're gonna make a new layer to draw in some moon phases. So we're gonna start with a rough circle and hold down your other finger to make it a perfect circle. And then we're gonna duplicate that layer and just move it slightly to the left. And then we're going to duplicate that layer again and just um, make it a little bit smaller and place it so that it has like a gibbous moon shape. And then you can just merge those two layers together and then go in and erase the excess strokes to make a gibbous moon. So just repeat those steps by duplicating the circle again and again so that you have a crescent moon. Once that's sorted, you can merge the moon layers together and then use your selection tool to select the gibbous and crescent moon and then you just want to duplicate that and flip it horizontally and that gives you the moons for the other side. And once that's sorted, you can merge everything into one layer so that there's less to think about and then start up a new layer and we're going to draw in a crystal. So to do crystals, I usually start with like a top point and then two straight lines of the sides and then a bottom point. You can play around with this, you can do any shape you want, it usually ends up looking okay. And then I'll do some more straight lines on the inside, you can play around with this as well, or you can just do exactly what I'm doing, up to you. And then merge that, and then on the same layer we're going to start drawing in some leaves. So I start with this squiggly line kind of thing, and then I just draw leaves in. You 
can have fun with this. You can draw leaves or you could add some more crystals. You can put some sticks or some flowers. I'm just going with leaves to keep it simple and probably a couple sticks. I also should probably mention that this is just a reference layer, so we won't actually be seeing this line work later, so it doesn't have to be perfect, so don't worry about it too much. And now we're going to do some antennas, I think that's what they're called. I'm just doing a line with lines coming out of it. And now for the fun part. We are going to go into the background layer and change the color all the way to black and then on your outline layer we will go to hue, saturation and brightness and turn the brightness all the way up to get white outlines and then drag the opacity to about 40%. Now we'll make a new layer and drag that below the outlines and we will select drawing assist to get the mirror and just taking this light purple color as well as a technical pen we will begin filling in the upper wings. To save you some time, you can drag this little icon into your outline. Now we're going to go back into that layer and select alpha lock, which means you can only paint on the wings. Now with this darker shade of purple, I'm just going in with a soft brush and lightly shading in the wings. Using the same color, I'm now switching to the dry ink brush and I'm just going to go in and add some details. Now with this light blue and the dry ink brush, I'm continuing to add in the details. I'm just setting my brush size to 1% and going in and adding some little veins. I know we didn't sketch this out, but I just thought it was a bit plain. So yeah, I'm just drawing like some lines that come off other lines. And I also wanted to add in like these little stars. Cool, now let's go and make a new layer and we'll just drag that below the top wings and we'll just take this pinkish purple and the technical pen and begin outlining our bottom wings. And then we'll just go back into that layer and turn on alpha lock and then we're going to switch to the soft brush with this darker version of that pinkish purple and begin shading in the wings. I'm also going in with some of this purple. And now I'm just switching back to the dry ink brush to start adding some details. And then just back to this blue colour to fill in the moon and add some speckles. Once that's done, we're just going to start a new layer and go in with the same blue colour just to fill in the body. Now just go in and turn alpha lock on for that layer. And then with this lighter yellow colour, we're just going to go in with a soft brush and begin shading in the middle of the body. We will then use this purple colour to shade in the outside of the body. Now taking this orange and the dry ink brush, we are going to go in and fill in the details. I'm just using this brown for the eyes. Now 
just set your brush size to 1% and we are going to make her a little hairy. Once that's done, just start up a new layer. I'm just using this light purple to add in the antennas. You can then just merge all of the colouring in layers together. I'm now starting a new layer and going in with this yellow colour and my dry ink brush just to fill in the moons. And on that same layer, I'm taking this dark purple colour to outline the crystal. Once that's done, we're just going to start up a new layer and just put that underneath the crystal outline. We're now going to use this lighter purple to start filling in the crystal. By the way, if this ever happens to you, you can just hold your pen in place and slide it along to change the threshold. Next, you're going to want to turn on alpha lock and then we're going to take our soft brush and this dark purple shade and start shading in the crystal. We're also going to add a bit of this purple and this purple. And now we're going to highlight the other side using this yellow. And then just switch back to your dry ink brush and this white colour and we'll start adding the details in. So I'm just going in and adding some highlights wherever light would hit the crystal and then I'm going in with some yellow to just like go on top of those highlights. Once that's done, feel free to merge together all the layers except for the line work layers and then be sure to turn off alpha lock. Taking this dark green colour, we're going to go in and start outlining the leaves. Feel free to add any extra details, I'm just going in here and adding some veins to these leaves. Now just use this brown to fill out the twigs. Once that's done, just make a new layer and drag it underneath all the layers, press on it and then press drawing assist. Now we're going to go in with this light green and fill in all the leaves. I am now just making a new layer on top of the other layers and adding some details to the twigs.
Now taking the white color and the dry ink brush, we're just going to go in and draw some stars. So I'm doing the constellations, I'm just making these up, but you can use real constellations, it's up to you. I'm just dotting in the main big stars of the constellations, and I'm just making sure to like spread it around so there's a little bit everywhere. Next, we're going to click on the dry ink brush and drag the spacing to maximum and then we are going to join the big dots together. So that's like the little stars that join the constellations. Once that's done, just go back to your dry ink brush settings and drag the spacing back to zero. We're going to now do some different kind of stars, we're going to do like a diamond shape and we're just going to add those all around the canvas. All you really have to do to finish this illustration off is cover the background with different stars and constellations. So I'm just showing you here like all the different kind of styles I do to cover the background and that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I hope you learned something, and thanks for watching.